What is up, future millionaire? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ellie Talks Money. And in today's video, we are going to go over the best four business credit cards for 2024. Grab your notebook, grab a pen, and let's get into these gems. Ellie Talks Money to create the better days, business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, y'all, welcome back into the video. So first, I wanna start with some business credit cards for 2024 that are really great for those of you who are newer in business and also those of you who may not have the best personal credit score. There are business credit cards for great personal credit options, and there are also business credit cards for those of you who don't have the best personal credit. And listen, I was in that category. When I started my business in 2020, I had a 550 or maybe 5 40 personal credit score. So I really needed to find great options that matched where my credit profile was at the time. Now there are also business credit cards that don't take into account personal credit much or at all. And I'm gonna share a couple of those too. So let's get right into the first one, which is the FNBO Business MasterCard. And it's actually a secured business credit card. Now this has an annual fee of $39 and it is definitely for bad or you know less than less than good personal credit but what I like about this is that you're pretty much guaranteed an approval and with this business credit card you are going to be able to start building your business credit which is key now another great thing about this card is that when you start using it as long as you are making your payments and taking good care of the card within about six months you can actually upgrade if you will to an un secured card. So the difference just for those who don't know between secure and unsecured, secured means that you're going to essentially fund your deposit. So you'll put a thousand dollars on the card or 500 or 1500, however much. And then after you show good payment history and good utilization, the company will match your secured deposit and you'll have an unsecured business credit card that then has another amount added on to your limit. More benefits and you're able to then increase your limits from there. So that's a really good thing for those of you who still need to start building business credit and still want to be able to have a business credit card, but who may not be able to get one of the higher end ones like Amex or Chase that we'll talk about in a bit. Moving on to business credit card number two. Now this credit card is with US Bank. This is their Triple Cash Rewards Elite MasterCard. Okay. And for this card, you need to have good credit. So that would be somewhere between 600 and 680, I would say. So that means even if you're in the low 600s, you still have a great opportunity of getting this card. Now, this one as well does not have an annual fee, but it does have a good bonus. So you're able to earn a $500 bonus after spending a certain amount within the first 90 days of opening your account. So that can be great for those of you who know you need to use this business card uh, for something right away. And and then boom, we all love free money. So this could be a great one to add into your business credit card portfolio and you don't need to have a bank account with a US bank in order to secure this card. So that's a benefit. Now, some of my pro tips for applying for business credit cards, I do recommend applying over the phone versus online. And the reason for that is it often gives you a little bit of a better chance with getting approved and you're also able to talk directly to that uh, department or request a reconsideration right away if for any reason you do get denied. Now let's get into some other business credit cards and I specifically want to tell you about the Chase Inc. business credit card. Now Chase on their website will say that you need you know excellent credit to get this card but let me tell you guys something. I was able to get approved with a Chase Inc. card with my 550 credit score and that was in July or August of 2020 so right at the beginning of my business and what works for me is that I had already had a business or a banking relationship excuse me with Chase and I had a business bank account with them so one pro tip I do want to give you is that when you want to get business credit cards with accounts like Chase or Bank of America aim to have a relationship with them in advance that can often help pull and give you a little more sway to getting an additional product because they want their customers to have as many of their products
products as possible. Now, another thing that helped me is that I applied over the phone. I applied with one of the women who actually helped me open my business account at the time. And to be honest, you guys, I got denied. I got denied when I first applied to Chase. And what I did is I asked for a reconsideration. At that time, I was only six months post my divorce. So, you know, my personal credit was low really because so many things had changed in my life. And that's what I explained to the reconsideration department. I said, look, I just started my business. I know I can do this. I just need a chance. And they gave it to me. Now my limit was only $5,000. So it wasn't huge, but it was a start. And now I have multiple business credit cards with Chase. I've been able to get lines of credit. So I really want you to stay at it and recognize that even if your first approval is not necessarily the highest, don't disregard it. Treat you know the card well, make your payments, focus on the relationship with that lending institution and they will continue to lend to you. All right, let's get into the next credit card. The last one I wanna get into with y'all is American Express. You know, the, the it girl, right? <laughs> we all love Amex. I used to work for American Express, so I have an even deeper love for that company because they really are great. Here's my tip. Everyone wants the American Express Business Platinum card. I remember when I used to work for them, that was definitely one of the cards that we got the most requests for upgrades into, and also one of the cards that we recommended the most for upgrades. So here are my tips for getting into the American Express family. Now, going straight for the platinum, you definitely need to have great personal credit. And I mean a 680 and up. But I always recommend for newer business owners to start with the blue for business card. That is like the standard or entry level American Express card. And the approval ability, if that is the right way to say it, is usually much easier to get into. They're not looking for as high of a credit score um, or even as much time in business as they are with the American Express Platinum. Now, one thing American Express as a company values is the relationship with their clients. So when you start with the blue for business, hold on to your card, make your payments, take good care of it. Like I always teach you guys, make sure that you are absolutely building your relationship with Amex. And then the secret is to upgrade. So you've got the blue for business, then you're gonna upgrade to the green card or upgrade to the gold card and then when you're ready now remember the American Express Platinum does have a $695 annual fee so I recommend only upgrading when you're ready to pay that fee okay but yes once you get to the gold then boom upgrade into the platinum and one day, may we all have unlimited black cards, okay? <laughs> so those are the top four business credit cards for 2024. And based on wherever you are in your business or in your personal credit, definitely make sure you choose the right option for you. Now, I have linked down below my free business funding strategy workbook that I put together for you all. It features all of the steps you need to build your business credit, different funding strategies that you can use to fund your business in multiple ways. And I put in there some of my favorite resources for building your business credit and building your personal credit. So when you use those links, you'll be able to gain access to lower prices and some free trials just because you came through Ellie. All right. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, like this video and turn on your notifications so you can catch me on my next live stream. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.